Hi, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishment, and I was watching Tracy Fox this morning, and she was making these little, um, these little ephemera folder pocket thingies. And I made a couple of them, and what I wanted to do was show you guys how to make them. And honestly, she made a few of them, and I looked on YouTube, and it looks like um, it's been done um, before, too. She made a specimen pocket, and she made a couple, I think it was a year ago, and, she, and G Care made um, an, another kind of origami pocket. So it's been done, but um, I'm gonna link all of those videos below and so that you can look at those different ones. So this is just a digital that I printed off from the internet for it's a William Morris design, okay? Now, whichever, whichever um, design you want on the outside, it has to be face up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score this at three because you want to you want it divisible by three, whichever. So if you have a 12 inch piece of paper, you can divide it um, into fours. This, um, you know, you can score it at four and eight. I have a I made my nine inches, so I am scoring it at three and six. So what I have is this. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and fold these. And like I said, I'm going, I want my fold to be on, I mean, I want my design to be on the inside of my fold. It. And you could do double side if you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so what you have is this. Okay, so now you want to take and fold. You have it open like this. You want to take one side and fold it up like that. Okay. Just like that. You want to try to get it as straight on those edges as you possibly can. It makes a difference, trust me. Okay. And then the other side, the same exact way. Just fold it till it... Fold it till it meets there. So you have this, okay? So now you wanna open this up. And do you see this crease right here? Crease right there? All right, I am going to, because you're probably not gonna see it anyway. Go ahead, make a little line so I can see it. You want to take this corner and fold it down. Take this corner and fold it down. And these are the, um, this is the folded edge. See that folded edge? On the other side and the, this one, you want to fold it down to in the middle also. Okay. Also, okay, so you have that. Now we're going to go and fold it back and go make sure this is all folded right. I'm going to go to the other side and open it up. I'm going to fold to that crease again on this side and on this side so that they meet sort of like a little um, like that 
And of course, there's the other double side. We're gonna fold that one in. And fold that one in. And fold that back, make sure it's all copacetic. Everything's all cool. This looks like this is too close, doesn't matter. All right, so now you have this and you have these two pieces in the middle. So we folded these triangles to meet that and then we have this in the middle. So we're gonna fold that down like that. Okay, and then open this up. Easy peasy. Now on this side, you see there's like this triangle right here. You wanna stick your fingers in the edge, in the corners, and you wanna to try to fold that triangle as sharp as you can on that side. And then do the same thing on this side. See the triangle? You wanna fold that down like that. So then you have this. So now the only thing that you need to do the only thing, and the hard, honestly, the the bigger the the um the thicker the paper, this is kind of hard. So you just want to, and sometimes because the paper is so thick, it's not going to want to. Let me have my bone folder. Let me have this. You may want to stick this up in there so that it comes down like that. And the same thing with the other side. You just wanna make this go like that. Like that. Like I said, see this little triangle didn't come out so right, so. You just have to kind of play with it because, like I said, my paper's thick. If you have, um, see how that triangle didn't fold right? I need to have that fold right. So just kind of play with it until you get it the way you want it. And a nice uh, burnish. Okay, then you have that. And there you have it, you have your box. There you go. So, I made this, you can decorate it, and what she did is she just like put a card on the top and some Velcro. G Care puts a ribbon around the back. But I also wanted to show you, and I've shown you this before, If you don't have time for all of that, get you a paper bag. Okay? Take the bag, fold it at the bottom like this. You have two creases, one here and one there. Now what I usually do is just to make it easier, I'm just cut this off. You can use this for something else, you know, make a junk journal or something. Um, I need, I used to have a little bitty, itty bitty little, I still have it. Um, I don't see it. This may not be small enough. But if you have a tiny little thing, you can cut this off. But the other thing you can do is, because it's easier to see if you draw a line, just draw a line here. And and one here. Well, there's that one. line here and then you cut these off yeah making it probably more complicated than I need to 
Whoops. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go down with my scissors. Okay, this, I just want it to be straight. Cut around there. want it to I want it to be open like that cut around there you know where it is and cut here and now you have a pouch so what you can do with this and here's one that I did that I made um, I just took a piece of piece of cardstock and put it in the bottom two pieces of cardstock I didn't do this one as nice as I did here this is so much better um, because I didn't do this. I think this needs to come out a little bit more wherever it's folding there just trim it up to where it um, anyway, and then I just put one of the, <coughs> excuse me, one of the things that Tracy made, these little, and made a closure and put a bead on the end. So, you know, all you have to do is, you know, you can decorate these, put cardstock in the bottom, put cardstock on the top, and then you have your pouch. And, um, honestly, if you get higher end, um, paper bags, like you get them from a Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that, or Michaels, they're going to fold better, but, um, uh, this is easy. So let me know. I mean, I made a couple of these. These are cool. And let me know what you think. Do you, would you, you know, would you fold them like this or would you just, you know, use the paper bag? <laughs> Which do you think? I don't know. So, I mean, honestly, all you do is I just used some cardstock and covered this up, so it's not hard at all. And uh, I don't know. So anyway, let me think. Let me know what you think. And um, thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.